Welcome to Odoo tutorial by Vasam Infotech. Today we will be discussing about data cleaning module in Odoo. The data cleaning module was primarily introduced in Odoo version 40. So, for any company, data is an integral part of their process and there will be a huge collection of data which may also contain inaccurate information as well as duplicate information. So, data cleaning module helps us to clean the data such that inaccurate as well as duplicate information are removed. So as we said, the data may contain inaccurate information as well as duplicate information. So in order to solve these issues, our data cleaning module has two sections, field cleaning as well as due du duplication. So to clear the inaccurate information or to help us uh, clean the inaccurate information, there is a section known as field cleaning. So in order to, for field cleaning to work, we have to set up field cleaning rules. So in order to set up a field cleaning rule, we have to go to configuration inside the data cleaning module and select field cleaning. So in the field cleaning, we can create a new role by clicking on create and in the form which comes next, we will specify a name for the cleaning role and then we have to select the model, the model under which this data cleaning role should perform. So there may be all the available models like sale order, purchase order, accounts, contact etc. So for this particular example, we will select contact. So the cleaning mode can be of two types, automatic or manual. If it is manual, then, then we have to trigger this particular cleaning rule in order to check. If it is automatic, then Odoo will automatically trigger on a specific interval of time and then show us which all mode fields have to be cleaned. Then we have notify users where we can specify which user has to be notified regarding this particular data cleaning task. Then comes the rules section. So in the rules section, we can select the field on which this particular rule is to be performed. And the action, there are four types of action for data field cleaning. First one is trim spaces. Trim spaces is like if the, if the value in the field has multiple spaces, few of them will be unwanted. So the trim spaces option removes those additional spaces. And then we have the set type case action. The set type case action is used to check the case of the value. So there may be cases where the casing is not correct, like some letters may be uppercase, some may be lowercase. So setting the type case, we get three options on how the case has to be set. Like the first one is set all letters to uppercase, and that is if the first letter of every word in the value will be set as uppercase and the other will be lowercase. Or we can set all the letters as uppercase or lowercase. Then we have format phone. This format phone option sets a, sets a, sets the formatting of the phone numbers. Like the field, if it is store, if it stores phone numbers, and the user just gives any random number without any proper formatting, the rule then applies the international way of giving the phone number. Like first the international code, then the 10 digit phone number. Then we have scrap HTML. The scrap HTML rule applies. Like if a field value is has HTML content, then it scraps out or removes the element of HTML and only keeps the values in it. So once we set up all these rules, we can click on save. And then this particular rule is set up. So since we have now created the rule for cleaning, we can just click on this particular button clean to trigger this rule. So I'm clicking clean. We may have to wait some time since Odoo is finding out the fields or the records which have inaccurate information. So once Odoo searches, it will return a list of records whose value has to be cleaned. So in this particular example, you can see that there are multiple contacts whose phone numbers are not in the proper format. So here we can see that like for this particular record, there is this the current form in which the value is stored in the phone number. And there is a suggestion given by the data cleaning module, which can, which will be uh, the phone number, same phone number in proper formatted way. So either we can accept the change suggested by data cleaning module by clicking on validate or discard it. If you want to change this particular phone number to the corresponding value, you can click on validate and the suggested value will be stored in the record. So in this way, we can check the formatting or uh, cleaning the field cleaning in or uh, cleaning the incorrect data 
in any type of fields based on the rules specified. That is how field cleaning can be <coughs> done. Next is removing duplicate values. So there may be multiple duplicate records which may be towards the same information. So for that we have this deduplication section in data cleaning. So to perform deduplication we have to create a rule for deduplication. So in order to create a rule within the data cleaning module go to configuration and select deduplication. So here we have the existing list of tools. So in order to create a new role, we can click on create and in the coming form, we can give a name for this particular role and then select the model in which this particular role is to be applied. The next one is merge mode. In merge mode, we can set it as manual or automatic. This is just specify in which way this particular role has to be triggered. If it is manual, then the user has to come and click on duplicate to trigger this particular rule and return all the fields that has that all the records that has to be merged because they are duplicates. If it's automatic, code will automatically schedule and trigger this particular rule so that the user can just come and just merge the few records that are duplicates. They don't have to trigger the duplication action. And the next one is domain. The domain we can set, we can just give some conditions in order to exclude some of the records. Like we can give some conditions like if it is not a company or something like that, such that the records that match this particular condition are not included in this deduplication check. Then we have the deduplication rules. In this particular rules, we can give the conditions based on which the uh, searching should be done. Like if we can give name, we can give that field name and then we have the merge if condition. That is when the two records have to be merged. Like if we give name and we have the option exact match or case insensitive match. If, I, if, two, if there are two records whose names are exactly the same, then if we give the merge if condition as exact match, then all this Odoo guy will suggest us that there are two records with exact match and if we can merge, we can merge them. In the same way, we can give multiple fields based on which this particular matching should be done. The more there are fields and conditions, the more accurately the search will be. So once the, all these are set up, we can click on save. So when we have to check for duplicate records, we can click on this particular deduplicate button and then Odoo will search for the records that are duplicates and then return them. So now here we can see that we have three records in contacts that may be duplicates. So we have two, uh, we have two records that are more, almost same and Odoo will give us a similarity like how much percentage these two records are similar to each other. Here we can see that almost all details are the same and, and just that there are two, there is one field that is present in the first one and the second one does not. So we can just click on this particular toggle and select which one we have to keep. And once that, if we want to merge, we can click on this particular merge button. Otherwise, we can just click on discard. So, in this way, we can avoid duplication in our records. This can be done periodically, such that the records, there are no du duplicate records in our data. So, this is how data cleaning, that is field cleaning, as well as deduplication can be performed with Odoo's data cleaning routine.